Okay, let's take a look at G and M codes on the lathe. As we learned before, G codes are known as preparatory functions and M codes are known as miscellaneous functions. Where G codes will control machine movement, M codes will control those things that are outside of machine movement, such as turning the spindle on, turning coolant on and off, maybe outputs to a robot, inputs from a robot, uh, it's program rewind, program stop, things of those nature will be controlled by M codes. Let's look at a few few things. Most of them remain the same. G0 is going to be a rapid, G1 linear, G2 clockwise arc, G3 counterclockwise arc, G4 is a dwell, G4 will be used in conjunction with the P code. That P will control how long it pauses. G9, exact stop, so on and so forth. Arc-wise, we're going to be operating in a G18 plane most of the time. So if you have an arc problem, it says plane selection, something, blah, 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 then it's probably need to put a G18 in there. And G28, basically a, a home command. G53, movement relative to machine coordinates. So instead of using a G28, we can use a G53, as we've done on the mill before. So we're always going to go home in the X first, and then home in the Z, and change tools. We're never going to change tools at our part. You may do that on the job, but we're not doing it here for obvious reasons. Work offsets. G54 through G59. We're probably going to use one or two work offsets in here at a time. So that's not really going to be a problem. Can cycles. Can cycles for drilling. Pretty well remain the same. G80. Can cycle straight drill. Oh, sorry. Cancel. Can cycle. G81. It's going to be a straight drill. G82. Spot drill. G83. Peck drill. So the difference between a G81 and a G82 is that in a G82 you can use a P command to pause it for a second to relieve that tool pressure. These will all be done on center line for our application. So in that case then we need to be in a G90. 7 it says cancel constant service speed but in reality I like to think of it as uh, RPM mode. In other words we're just telling it what RPM to stay at. Another important one G50, G50, spindle speed clamp. So if we program G50 S500, that will not let the machine exceed 500 RPM. The reason that's important, because if we go with a G96, constant surface speed, where the machine's constantly doing the SFM times 4 divided by diameter, so in other words, the smaller diameter, the machine's going to speed up, the bigger the slower. Well, this spindle can potentially turn 7500 RPMs or somewhere in there and if you're not hanging on to it well enough that part will come flying right out at you so by setting that G50 we can use that in conjunction saying well we want it to, to compensate for the diameter of the part up until a certain point where we don't want the RPM to exceed you can see that really most of it is the same between the mill and the lathe with the exception of the can cycles and probably the biggest difference then is the G90 G91 where now G90 on the lathe is an IDOD turning can cycle and before on the mill this was absolute coordinates because unless you have a U or W specified it's going to be an absolute coordinate from the face of the part. And so as before we have modal and non-modal codes Modal meaning once it's instated, it's going to remain instated. Certain modal codes can be canceled or replaced with other codes. You should go through, go into dock sharing, and open up the Haas Productivity Lathe Manual and read about what codes cancel other codes because if you see here, there is a group. So there's some group number rules. 
Some can be used together, some cancel others. I'm not going to explain it all right now because it's in the reading. So if you go to page 19 in the Haas Productivity Lathe Manual, you can read up on that and uh, cycle through these these GNM codes. Check them out. These are the ones that we'll be using most often and will be explained per code in better detail as we start programming.